Uh, this is an introduction to um, my very, very, very rough draft version of um, inductive power transmission uh, kit that I'd like to make for uh, high school teachers and uh, this is for a master's thesis project. Um, this, is, this is the beginnings of the uh, circuit. Um, let me go back to the uh, power supply. Let me go from the very beginning. So here's a power supply. It's just a uh, two six volt batteries um, in series. I don't have it turned on yet. Uh, power supply goes to a um, voltage regulator here. Uh, so you have five volts coming into a 555 timer uh, driver circuit, um, which the output gate uh, pin 3 goes to, sorry, the input gate of this uh, power MOSFET. It's an NTE 2390. Um, it's a high speed, um, relatively high amperage um, power MOSFET. Uh, both of these with heat sinks on them. Um, so you've got the 555 timer opens the gate here which allows 12 volts to come through here. Uh, one of the reasons why you, you need to do this sort of arrangement is because the 555 timer can't take the current directly from the 12 volt power supply. It will fry it. It will smoke it. Uh, been there, done that. So uh, you need the voltage regulator, 5 volts, opens this up. You're allowing close to 12 volts. Um, in, in reality, I'm getting around 10. Um, comes over to uh, this LC circuit here, which is a 104 um, mylar film capacitor. So it's a 0 0.1 uh, microfarad uh, capacitor. To a coil here, uh, this would be the primary coil. This was measured um, to be 39.1 microhenries as labeled. So the resonant frequency here um, calculated and measured is about 83 uh, kilohertz. Um, over here, this is the receiving coil. This is, uh, even though it is not 39.1 microhenries, it's pretty close, it's 40.7 uh, microhenries as labeled. <coughs> um, you also have an identical capacitor. Uh, again, it's a 104. Uh, the reason why I got the Mylar ones, again, was because, um, not so much on this end, but this one here begins to get pretty warm, and the power MOSFET gets really hot, and uh, thus the heat sink. So, in, in fact, it would be much better if there was a much larger heat sink on this, maybe even a fan. Um, but this thing gets, gets extremely hot. Uh, I'll deal with that later. So, um, regular ceramic capacitors probably don't work very good in these coils, um, so, uh, anyway, uh, you've got a uh, Schottky diode bridge rectifier here, um, which rectifies a full wave, uh, sorry, it's a half wave rectifier. Um, I think that's right. Uh, so, you've got a alternating uh, signal here, um, positive and negative voltages, and here it rectifies them to be a uh, all positive voltage. Here you have a smoothing diode, oh, sorry, a smoothing capacitor. This is a um, electrolytic uh, 100 f uh, microfarad capacitor, pretty common. And then you have, uh, finally, your output here is just a plain LED with a uh, 1K resistor uh, in series. So um, I'll demonstrate it and um, we'll see what happens. So I'm going to use my very expensive switch right here and turn it on. And uh, as you can see, the LED is lit. There's no connection. Oh, sorry, it's kind of hard to do with one hand. Uh, so no connection there. And uh, this is not resonant, um, so I discovered. Uh, I'm still working on that, but this is certainly inductive uh, transmission of power uh, because I can take this entire assembly, move it up, away from the coil, and it does not glow. I can bring it back down, and it starts to glow again. As I get closer, it gets more brilliant. There's more current um, passing through. And as I get further away, there's no reception. So uh, rather, there, there is still, um, if I put the frequency counter on it, I get, uh, I'm still getting 
uh, counts on this board, but it's just not at any usable voltage to light up the uh, LED. So I'm getting about one volt right out here. In fact, I get about one volt meh, around there, um, about four or five inches away. Uh, as I get closer, obviously, the, uh, the current increases. So um, it does demonstrate that uh, the power transmission is polarized to some degree. So um, that's it. Thank you very much for watching.